How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary and today we're cleaning up the lighthouse because we got a new weapon to review for you guys today. So if you enjoyed this weapon review videos, please make sure to tap that like button. It really helps out the video and the channel a lot. I would really do appreciate it. Uh, and uh, we'll see what you got here. But the weapon I want to talk about today is called the Soul Pariah 6. This is an SMG you get from forging weapons and grinding the hell out of this game <laughs> oh my gosh so much stuff you gotta do but uh what i want to do is talk about this weapon and give you my suggestions and uh why i think it's actually a pretty good gun so the interesting thing about this weapon is you can actually change the fire rate of it much like you could with the kvasta there are two different settings 600 and 900 rounds per minute I'll give you a reason why I like the one I have set up the way I do right now so let's click right on into this bad boy right here so you can see we have, uh, I like to have it set up to where I maximize the range and stability and impact as much as possible. I can handle a little extra recoil, so then that's why in this one I, I can choose the small bore barrel, uh, just because it increases the uh, range as much as possible. And then uh, over here on the magazine size thing, this is where things kind of get a little, you know, customized however you like kind of thing. And so in this situation, I actually really do like running with the ricochet rounds. Really just because it increases the range as much as possible. But, uh, and also that it keeps it that range at 900 rounds per minute. You can also go with phase magazine, which will actually lower the rate of fire and magazine size, but increase the impact. And I believe also stability, yeah, range and stability are uh, uh, increased, which, so, you can try out however you like to run this weapon. Personally, I like to run with the 900 rounds per minute version of it because the trait on this weapon is Grave Rubber. And Grave Rubber, what it does is melee kills reload a portion of the magazine. And so you're, you're really going to be seeing a lot of benefit if in this weapon for PvE. So then what you need to do is you, you can be like a Devour Warlock. And what you can do is, you know, click on, tap, activate your devour perk going. And then what you can do is uh, just, you know, shoot the enemy just enough to where you can shoot them, melee, shoot them, melee, shoot them, melee. And you essentially never have to reload. It will constantly refill your ammo. It doesn't take your ammo from the magazine. It just creates new ammo for you. I think I've even seen it add up to 100 in one melee. Uh, so you can basically have infinite ammo and ammo and not have to reload with this weapon which is fantastic uh, you can see with a few clips here that i posted on right now while uh, the, the weapon in action uh when i was playing against this cabal on uh, the leviathan it was at level 300 and i believe i was like 319 when doing that video and so you can see how the weapon does work out i think it's very good i can't give you a full pvp analysis just because of the lens apocalypse that's happening right now in pvp which is just absurd but uh i would say that it's actually not too bad the recoil gets a little bit squirrely uh definitely only meant to be like a a um, finish off a guy like close range shoot him a few shots and then melee kind of thing if you're going to try using it in pvp don't try to do like a standoffish gunfight kind of thing with this weapon because you'll just lose pretty much every time because of the recoil and the damage fall off is rather severe with smgs uh but anyways guys that's my thought on this weapon i think it's a great pv P pve weapon you won't have to reload and it's great for uh devour warlocks i do actually like to, if you look, check this out over here i do like to uh, link it up with the ophidian uh, aspect uh, gauntlets what those do is that the weapon ready and reload is very quick and the melee range is extended so you can actually get a little extra distance on that melee so uh, to really activate the perk on the soul pariah and so that's my uh, suggestion with this guy right here uh, it definitely works with the devour warlock because every time you get a kill your health completely recharges which is just insanely insanely fun but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this kind of video, please make sure to tap that like button so you know you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on this weapon. If you guys have had a chance to play it out or if you want to see me do any other reviews, you know, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see some more content from me, some more Halo 5 and Destiny 2 content, tap the subscribe button because we're all uploading content pretty much daily. And so I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out.